There's a better way to upload files to Google AI Studio. You might not know, but the reason is that Google AI Studio creates files in your Google Drive. It's not only the files in your library for the set of prompts that you have that you created, but it also creates files when you upload new files, whether it be image, audio, video, or any other kind of files in your Google Drive as well. I'll show you best practices for uploading files to AI Studio and managing those files in Google Drive. First, we'll take a look at what happens when you create a new set of prompts. So we're generating this prompt, a response to this prompt in AI Studio. If you take a look in the top right corner, there's a Google Drive icon. If you hover over it, it says saved to drive. What happens is if you go over to Google Drive, you'll notice that it appears in your Google Drive. From here, you can manage the file. You can delete it or rename it, whatever you want to do. But you can also manage the file in AI Studio as well. If you go to the left navigation, click on library, it'll show you all the prompts, all the sets of prompts that you have and go over to the right column here, click on the three dots, then choose delete prompt. Are you sure you want to delete? Yes. If we go back over to our Google Drive, then it'll delete it from our list in Google Drive as well. When you upload a file from your hard drive, then it creates a new file in your Google Drive as well. If we take a look, at our Google Drive, we can see that it's been created and added to our list of files. If we look at the file details panel on the right, we can see that the file has been uploaded to a folder called Google AI Studio. But if we look at this list of recent files here, I notice there are two instances. There's a duplicate for the file we uploaded. And so what happens is, when you just upload the file in AI Studio, even without clicking on the Run button, it'll still upload the file to Google Drive. So I'm going to select both of these files and make sure I move them to the trash when I'm done. Now, in order to avoid these duplicate files, first upload your file to Google Drive. And then when you're in AI Studio, click on the plus icon in the input field and select My Drive. Search for your image, select it, click on the insert button in the bottom right corner, add your prompt, and then click on Run. And when we go to Google Drive, you'll notice that it doesn't create a new image. So remember that these files, especially when you're working with video files can easily take up storage in your Google Drive. If you found this useful, like the video and leave a comment. If you want more content on AI, workflow automation, and analytics, subscribe to the channel.